This is Highbridge Devon on uh, Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch even on a uh, rather nice now if cold uh, mid to late November day of 2022 and we're doing a quick walk around video between the uh, driving rain on uh, this absolutely lovely just come in 2017 Auto Trail Apache 632 so Auto Trail been around since about 1980 I think renowned as uh, one of Britain's biggest uh, luxury motorhome manufacturers um, predominantly known for their coach builds but they do all sorts now they're part of the wider French Dragano group um, but very much British fans for British tastes so the Apache range is their mid-range offering there's not a lot to split any of these auto trails to be honest they're all really high spec um, this is a particularly good one it's a 17 plate let's have a little look at the uh, at the window sheet there so she is a 2017 auto trail Apache 632 got a transverse bed this is the optional high bed which is uh, more popular actually because it's got the garage underneath it's two seat belts four berths so it's got the twin sofa front lounge option for those who needed traveling seats you could uh, have one built with an L shape or a half dinette one side but this one will make four beds but it's only got two seat belts it's three and a half tons you can drive it on a car license which is great it's only done 15,000 miles which is great 7.36 long, so it's not as big as some. 2.35 wide, that's normal coach built width. Height's 3.05. Uh, they all do the same um, same body shell, um, whether it's low profile or not. This one is low profile. It's not got the over cab bed. It's got the storage lockers. Price is 52.95. If you internet price check this van, it is very competitive for what it is of its spec condition, which is excellent and mileage. Based on the Fitch Cato X244, I think this was, X250, I don't know, I'll lose track of the model numbers, X250 cab. Uh, it's got the slate grey cab, which is really, really good. It's got the LED daytime running lights, which is smart, and it's got the bigger 16-inch wheels with wheel trims, which actually look fine. You don't really need alloys. You've also got the silver style pack on the front, which gives you the silver grille and the silver little chin spoiler there. It's a nice looking van. High level marker lights, um, smart graphics. We've got the SE pack, which to be honest, they all have. So that gives you loads of stuff, including a, a factory built integrated two lay roof mount awning, which is smart. Gas locker for two gas bottles there. We've got a centrally locked habitation door with fly screen and an electric step that puts itself out in and out as you lock and unlock the van. A, slide inside window which is nice so uh, both you won't smash it if it's open if the door opens and you can have it open for a bit of airflow for your dogs in the back set cassette toilet locker here and this will be a gas barbecue point here so if you've got a gas barbecue and you can plug it up to there if you get the adapter it's a bullfinch one and that'll run off of your, your gas from your gas locker so the 632 we've got two of these at the minute we've got a 19 plate uh, which is a low bed or a mid height bed and we've got this 17 plate which is a full height bed so as you can see here it's got uh, a much higher bed so the standard one's about here it's got good storage underneath but this has got a massive garage it's really really big so you'll get one two three four bikes and all your equipment into there it's really smart you've got access from the inside of the van as well which is good and yeah really really nice place to be that very good storage with a light and heating in it as well so coming around to the back of the van we've got your spare wheel mounted on the back which is an auto trail trademark um, real nice stylish back end uh, high level reversing camera factory fitted all in first class condition no no scrapes or cracks or anything like that on it which is great second garage door for, for pulling things in or loading them from the far side up on the roof there we've got a TV area and this one's got an integrated television which we'll see on the inside which we've got running at the moment uh, not at all got it set up because England are playing in the World Cup today this is the flue for the heating system so it's gas and electric true McCombie boiler runs off mains electric if you hooked up gas if you're not or a mixture of the two easy to reach um, drain points for your fresh water tank and your wastewater tank which is slung underneath fridge vents for your gargantuan fridge freezer kitchen window extra bit of storage down the back of the, the kitchen there that's handy and uh, external shower so if you get the adapter for that you've got hot and cold external shower as well which is useful if you've got dogs or you've been to the beach and again condition is first class there's not a mark on it that i've seen i might have missed one but it looks very very good so looking at the cab spec she's the 130 multi-jet six speed manual gearbox which is plenty of power or you can get it remapped if you wish but you don't really need to 
We've got Remis Constantina blinds on the side and front. We've got the silver techno silver dash trim. We've got air conditioning, cruise control, Fiat factory fitted Bluetooth DAB and sat nav stereo system with air con, cruise speed limiter, passenger airbag and that reversing camera. So all the gear you could possibly wish for on the cab and only 15,000 miles from new and in first class condition. As with all of our vans, this van will be supplied with a major engine service, a new MOT, we'll do the cam belt if it's not been done because it is due, and um, full habitation service, full valet. That's just a leaf down there by the way, it's not damaged. So open up the side door, takes you into the middle of the van. It's still got its original Autotrail factory fitted umbrella, bin there, and the fly screen door. I'm gonna jump in because it's freezing. Oh. So, coming in, we've got a very, very comfortable, spacious, light and well-appointed luxury coach built at a very reasonable price point. So this is a really nice van, this. I like it. Uh, this would do the job for me, in fairness. So if you don't need seat belts, you don't want a van that's too big, but you want excellent storage and lots of kit, then uh, this is just the job, really. So, twin sofa, front lounge, comfortable. Pull them across, make a big double bed. Pull them out a bit, swivel the cab seats, make single beds. Um, obviously no seat belts, but for a lot of our customers, you're going once, twice a year, if at all, with other people. Take a car, taking the grandkids with you. Uh, then you're benefiting it from a much more comfortable twin sofa lounge. And then that comes with the uh, freestanding table, which you can put outside or you can put it here for dining. Saves you carrying another table, which is good. Upholstery is in fantastic condition, it's really, really comfortable. This we got the concertina blinds and fly screens and all the windows, which are quieter and more adjustable. Double glazing all around, as you'd expect. Massive storage because Auto Trail designed this model in theory to be able to have an over cab bed. They, if you don't go for the over cab option, they open it all up there, put the huge panoramic skylight in, which opens, which is lovely, and you've got just massive, massive storage. Um, which, look at that, it's a huge storage locker. So this is everything you could wish for two people. Comes with a second table, I can see the leg up there, that's where the leg goes. And comes with the Autotrail Integrated Entertainment System, which you can see uh, England are playing um, Iran today in the first match of the World Cup. That's all tuned in really, really well. We're in a poor signal area here, but that's working just a treat. So that's a 19-inch Avtex monitor, which will flip up, run through the, uh, the, the Integrated Entertainment box, which is very, very good. Smart curtains and scatter cushions is all good news. Nice mirror on the way out with storage. Very simple, easy to use, non-touchscreen control panel. Thank God they moved to touchscreen ones more latterly. Nobody wants that, just give us a button for each job like that does. Um, let's turn that off, this is currently running on the uh, engine battery, which we don't want, so that's flipped it over to the leisure battery. Then you've got your heater controls up there, you can just set it to, uh, to a comfortable temperature and it will maintain it. So uh, we've got this set on 23 degrees and we're looking forward to sitting in here watching the football in a little bit. Lovely kitchen, big L-shaped kitchen, really, really good storage. Really deep storage here as well, and this big curved cabinet work. That's excellent. A nice sink with draining area, plenty of workspace. Light up splashback, high level microwave, proper British style oven, oven separate grill. Up on top you've got three gas burners, one mains electric. And then we've got a huge fridge freezer. Look at the size of that massive slimline fridge freezer. Really, really big. Huge. So that will run off gas if you're hooked up. If you're not hooked up even to the mains. Mains electric if you are hooked up. And it will run off of your, off your engine while you're driving off of the alternator. Next to that, wardrobes. Really, really big wardrobe there. And then underneath of that, you've got some shelves for your clothes. Excellent, more storage under the fridge. And then the bathroom, nice bathroom in fairness. You've got a Hollywood mirror, a big storage cupboard there and there. And then a really good size separate shower as you can see with a hanging rail, which is great. So you can dry your things in there. That's excellent. Access to the garage. If you want to keep your dogs in the garage, they can go back and forth, use it as a kennel. There's a ladder that pulls out there, a little three-step ladder for access in the rear bed. And you've got a real good size fixed rear bed. I like the fact they've not put cabinets over where your head will be. You've got a proper headboard with uh, reading lights and a shelf above there as well. 
and it's yeah it's a really good place to be uh, at the back you've got tv point plug point as well for charging your phone or putting a tv in you've got a curtain rail for privacy up lighters down lighters opening skylight and an opening window so that's really good as well this is a really nice van this i would uh, quite happily have this myself it's in superb condition it's got all the bits you could want on it um surmising it'll have a solar panel on the roof um i can't remember where the sergeant system is but i reckon this has got a solar panel on the roof because i think that was standard by this year that's all your charger and things uh, but don't hold me to it i'm pretty sure it does so auto trailer apache 2017 it's a 632 apache it's at uh, hybrid remote homes devon branch that's us you can come and see us at Teen Grace Newton Abbott. We're just off the A38 South Devon Expressway. Dead easy to get to. Check us out on the website, hybridcaravans.co.uk. Give us a call on that number, 01626 832 792, and hit the motorhome sales option. If we're busy out here with customers or watching the football or um, doing this video, leave us a message or ring direct on that mobile number, 07432 662 558, and ask us about our wonderful Auto Trail Apache. 732. Thank you very much. Goodbye.